Eccentric millionaire Robert Durst was back in court today in New Orleans where he faces drugs and weapons charges. It's not yet clear when he will be extrad extradited to Los Angeles where he is charged with murder. Erin Moriarty of 48 Hours has been following this case for years and she brings us up to date. Susan Berman's body was found in her house on Christmas Eve in 2000. She had been shot once in the back of the head. Retired LAPD detective Paul Coulter, who was the lead investigator for more than a decade, says police received an anonymous letter alerting them to Berman's murder. And it's just addressed Beverly Hills Police Department with her address and uh, the word cadaver. That letter, a key piece of evidence, was the focus of a six-part documentary that aired on HBO, The Jinx. Sarah Kaufman, Berman's stepson, gave filmmakers a different letter, this one written by Robert Durst and sent to Berman months before she died. The similarities between the two are striking. The address written on the front is exactly like the cadaver note. At some point, filmmaker Andrew Jarecki confronted Durst with the two letters. And can you tell me which one you didn't write? No. That's when Durst made what appeared to be a confession in the restroom, not knowing he was still being recorded. What the hell did I do? Kill them all, of course. It's a circumstantial case. There's no known physical evidence that directly ties Durst to the murder. Durst's attorney, Dick DeGaren. Because I think it's not based on facts, it's based on ratings. The Los Angeles chief of police was asked today whether the documentary would influence the prosecution, and he said no, that the case would stand on its own. And Scott, if convicted of capital murder, Durst could face the death penalty. Aaron Moriarty of 48 Hours, thank you, Aaron. And Aaron will have much more about the bizarre life of Robert Durst on 48 Hours this Saturday at 10, 9 Central.